Hi guys, so um, today I'm going to be doing another tutorial. Um, one of my lovely subscribers had made a comment on my foundation video and had said that they would have liked to have seen the um, the way I come up with that finished product. So that's what I'm pretty much going to do today. Um, I'm using a couple of different products today just for my foundation. So if you want to see how I particularly done that foundation, then just go back and have a look at that video. But um, I do have a lot of spots going on at the moment, so I got a new concealer and I'm going to give that a go today. So just tying my hair back because it just gets in my face way too much. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is pop my primer on. My um, moisturizer on already. So I hope everyone is entering the contest. I'm really excited about that. Okay, and hopefully my lighting is okay today. It's really, really cloudy out, so I thought, well, I'll give it a go and hopefully the sun doesn't come out and wash me out too much. Okay, so I got a new foundation brush. It's a gloss professional brush, and this is what it looks like. I have used it yesterday. Um, it's a very flat and thin, but it just, it's sort of like a paintbrush. I'm going to give it a go again today to see how it, how it goes. It's really, really soft. I think I paid about $10 for this brush. Um, I'm not sure if I really like it at the moment, so I'm going to give it another go today. Alright, so I'm just popping on my foundation. See what I mean? It's like a foundation. It's like a foundation. It's like a foundation brush. Well, duh, it is a foundation brush. But um, it feels like a paintbrush. Like I don't know. I sort of prefer my um, other one. So just popping that on. This is how I usually do my makeup every day. And I'm using the um, Maybelline Superstay in Natural Beige. Sorry if this is a little bit rushed, but I'm actually just sort of wanting to get it done before the sun comes out because I just know it'll come out. Yeah, I do have a lot of spots going on at the moment, but it's a girly time, so that's why. And you know what? I haven't had um, a breakout this bad for about four months. So this is the first time since I've been using my Clarins that I've had a really bad breakout. So, I mean, it was bound to happen, but it hurts. Like, it really does. It's really sore and tender. Just a bit more. Down on the neck, so we don't have that horrible, horrible line. <laughs> okay, Let's see how that's looking. So that's the foundation. My hands are clean. Just gonna smooth that out, just down here. Oh, that is so bad. Okay, so I got a new concealer because I'm using the, um, if I can find it, my Maybelline Superstay foundation. I thought I would get the Maybelline Superstay concealer. And this is in ivory. So my foundation is in natural beige and the concealer is in ivory. So what I'm going to do is I'll just show you. I haven't really used this before. That's a little brush. Doesn't smell that bad. Just so that you know. <laughs> So I'm going to pop um, just a little bit under my eyes and down <laughs> and on the other side, <laughs> it's a great look isn't it, and down on my chin obviously um, and that's pretty much all I need really, I don't want to do too much. Okay, so what I'm going to do just down here, I'm going to pat it in first just to... that just patting it for now 
Okay, then I'm going to get my, once again, <laughs> my BYS eyeshadow brush. Now, I am looking for a better brush to use than this one, but like one of, um, another one of my subscribers had said that they liked the fact that I use any tool to um, get the job done, and really that's what it's about. <laughs> use whatever tool is comfortable for you, just because it says you should be using this tool, darling and then you have trouble using that tool and it's not um, turning out how you want it to turn out, then doesn't mean, you know, doesn't mean that you have to do it like that. Do it the way that you feel comfortable with doing it. Okay, so just doing that triangle shape under my eye, taking it over again. I'm not doing, um, any highlight under my eyebrow or anything like that today just because I don't really need it it's not a flawless foundation look today so if you want to see how I've done my flawless foundation look go check out that video but this is more so um, the rest of the makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and smooth all this out because you guys have seen this before and then um, I'll be back okay guys so that's my foundation and concealer done I don't think any concealer is going to cover up this mess at the moment, so I've just got to bear with it and live it out. So, of course the sun has started to come out. Hopefully it doesn't get too bright for you guys. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is get my eyes done. Um, I'm using my Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner. And it's one of the ones that you twist up like that. So it's pretty much a grey colour. Now what I'm going to do is my upper um, lash line, my upper waterline, and my lower lash line. Not my lower waterline. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully you'll be able to see. And I do pull my eye just because if I don't, it ends up a mess because my eye crinkles up so much. So keeping as close to the lash line as I can pretty much. And I'm only doing it sort of halfway over. So I'm not taking it all the way in to the corner of my eye on the upper eyelash line. So pretty much like that. I like to smooth that bit out just a little bit. The upper water line. lower lash line and with the lower lash line I usually take it right into the corner just like that so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye okay so that's my eyeliner done now I'm gonna be doing my mascara and as always I'm using my L'Oreal volume million lashes Mascara, and I absolutely love this mascara. It's the best mascara that I have come across for my lashes. So, there's a brush. It's a big, thick brush. Now, I do about two coats of this um, mascara. I don't usually bother curling my lashes just because I don't particularly need to. So, I'll do one eye so you can quickly see, and then I'll go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so first coat on that one eye. Okay, so that's the first coat. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat. Okay, so that's the second coat done, guys, and the um, sun has come out, so I thought I would just quickly show you my mascara. So that's with the second coat. So I'm very lucky to have long eyelashes. Okay, so I'm just going to wait until the sun goes down a little bit, and then we'll continue on. Okay guys, so I've pretty much gone ahead and done my hair while I'm waiting for the sun to go down. So, the next thing I'm going to do on my eyes is take my little Max Factor Shimmer Powder here. Once again, still cannot remember the name of that. Now I have put a little bit in there already, just while I was waiting, but I'll show you again what I've done. 
So I've basically taken my BYS eyeshadow brush, tapped a little bit on there, tapped it off, and then I've just basically patted it in there just like that. That's pretty much it. Then I've just taken my fingers that are clean and I've just rubbed it a bit just to um, smooth it out. Okay, so that's all I've done. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my blush and um, I use Jordana. Uh, this is 38 Coral Sandy Beach. So that's what it looks like. I really do like this one. Taking my angled blush brush. Tapping a little bit in this, and you do get a lot of colour off of this. It's very, very pigmented, as you can see. So I usually just tap that just a little bit. Can you see that? That's full on, this stuff. Pretty, pretty good. And I think I paid about $6 for this blush. So, now I don't do the dumb blush smile anymore because I was watching Wayne Goss and he said, you know, think about it, when you're smiling, your cheeks are raised, and then when you stop smiling, they drop. So you eyeshadow, uh, not eyeshadow, blush that you think you're putting here ends up here. You don't want that. So um, just circling it in and bringing it right up. And I really like to work it in. Now that does look harsh on the camera, but in real life it doesn't look that full on. So again on the other side, yeah. sorry if you can hear all the cars, it's pretty busy down our street today. So really working that in. Next, I'm going to take, once again, my Max Factor all-purpose powder, I should call it, because I use it for, for so many different things. Now, just tapping it in very, very lightly, because once again, you get a lot of product off and you don't want too much. And so I'm just going to basically be, use, be using this as a highlight on my cheekbone. So my hair, so basically just right above that, I'm working it in. Just gives a nice sort of shimmer. So as you can see, not too much. That's pretty much it for my blush, guys. Okay, now, my lipstick. Once again, I'm using Jordana lipsticks. The first one I'm going to put on is Burgundy. And I picked these lipsticks up for about $6. So there you go. And these um, lipsticks are amazing. I really, really do love these lipsticks. Oh, they smell divine. And they all seem to have that nice um, sugary smell um, they're very creamy they don't um, smudge too much they're very uh, they're very much a long-lasting lipstick I can put this on and it'll last me a couple of hours even if I'm drinking it's sort of like once they're in sort of soaked into your lips they sort of act like a stain at the same time on my lips so and honestly I pick these up for six dollars and you know where I pick these this, these um, products are from cheapest chips girls because I, I walked in there and I was just like you know because you browse around looking at all cheap shit really like looking around at stuff and then I noticed that they have um, this new stand of the Jordana and I was like what well, they've got a lot of stuff here so I thought yeah I'll try their nail polishes like their nail polishes 
tried their lipstick didn't the first lipstick i got was the barely pink and that one was way too light but i'm still going to use that one and i'll show you in a minute um i was really really surprised at these products because of where i got them now if you don't know what cheapest chips is um cheapest chips is like a junk store you go in and they've got they've got crafts they've got um oh my god they've got so much it's just a junk shop really crafts cards they've got um bedding pet supplies they've got candles they've got frames they've got tupperware they've got um a uh, little section where you can get dvds and it's just a cheap shop really you don't really spend more than 25 dollars in that shop so um anyways enough of me blabbing on i'm gonna take the lipstick in burgundy Just pop it on. My neighbours are so noisy. What is that? And don't make me go deep on you, darling. <laughs> okay. So that's lipstick really do like this one. Next I'm going to take my Barely Pink. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the centre of my bottom lip. Just to highlight it. Really, really like these lipsticks. Oh, love the smell of these. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. That's pretty much all I do. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do, which I don't usually do, is put just a little bit of powder on. Now, I got the Maybelline, um, this is the Shine Free Press Powder, and this is in Natural Beige as well. So, as you can see, I'm just going to take my big powder brush, I'm going to get a little bit of that and just dust it on. And I find that also sort of just blends everything out as well. So I don't use too much of this. And I just picked this one up um, earlier this week too and I am actually enjoying this better than my translucent powder. Because I didn't really wear um, a lot of powder during summer but now that it's winter coming up I'm just getting into the powder a little more and I don't really like to look too shiny so so that's pretty much it guys and that's how I achieve that look my hair is a mess at the moment I'm gonna have to fix this up look at this mess darling so I hope you enjoyed this guys that's how I come up with that particular look and um, very simple very easy something that I do during the um, is my everyday sort of makeup so that's pretty much it guys. I'll have a photo at the end and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.